Hi, everyone. Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Bearcats are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. home of the oldest military post in America becomes the scene as we prepare for what should be a football war. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. More Army return. is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bearcats offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Pitches it, he's got the corner. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. An amazing run. This kid was moving. Man, no kidding. This guy can fly. Around the 28-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Fires quick, he catches another. Tackle made at the 7. Number 39 on the tackle at the 7-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Here's the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the nine. Two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's second and goal. Ball on the nine. Brought down at the 12. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. The nine yard line. That'll be a gain of three yards. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Cincinnati is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it is good. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Bulldogs were ranked 14. Their charge, a care of business. They did. And for Georgia, they remain red hot. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Army's looking to start a new tradition. They got a new leading man on the way here. And I think, you know, players get butterflies. I guarantee this new coach has some, too.
The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He gets to about the 34-yard line. And a good play there. Here they give it to the fullback on the option, and the big guy gets good yardage. First and 10. Ball on the 34. Gets to about the 34-yard line. The Black Knights have a lot at stake here, including some possible record-breaking performances. Records and stats are great, but I think to a man, these players say, let's win the game first, and then any accolades we get along with it, that'd be great. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That's a game three on the play. That'll bring up third and six. We've got a third and six here. Ball on their own 37. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Hangs it up high. Gets to about the 41-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Cincinnati holds a field goal lead. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Throws this one away. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And it looks like they're going to bring some heat. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 37. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. They'll bring him down around the 24-yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. First down. Decent pickup. Game of five on the play. That brings up second and five. Two ties, two ties. From the 19 yard line, it's second down. The five. Touchdown, Bearcats. Boy, he looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Plenty of action going on in the top ten. The Horned Frogs have the perfect connection and a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. They bring him down in the backfield. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. The 
Bearcats saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he's tackled around the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line, first down. away from one pitch out got the corner and he's tackled after positive yardage Game of seven yards. that'll bring up second and three and he stopped behind the line loss of three on the play. that makes it third and seven Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Watch 30. Got one, got one. Set, 10, 20. 10, 20. Hey. Goes to the tailback, incomplete. And that will make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. Washington, the return man. He punts this one high in the air. Cincinnati's offense is really looking dangerous so far in this one, Kirk. I mean, what's the defense going to do to slow them down? I think you have to start somewhere, and that, that somewhere, I think, is stopping the run. You have to load up, take your chances, put extra numbers in the box. Once you stop the run, that is going to allow you to put some pressure on their passing game. Right now, they're not stopping the run or the pass. Inside the 30, the 10. Touchdown, Touchdown Cincy! Oh. He splits the uprights with the extra points. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. We've played one quarter. The Bearcats lead 17-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Taken down at the 27. One yard loss for the halfback. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 27 yard line. Second down. And that tackle very well could have saved a touchdown. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. Tackle at the 34. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. It's second and 12. 